favorite Bibles, and I'd like you to turn to Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good, evil and the good. And then I'm going to go down to 10. Uh, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. And uh, turn over to 16 and 2. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. And uh, you can be seated. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, uh, sometimes we think that uh, we can go behind our parents' backs and do what we want, you know, well, they won't, they won't know, they won't see what I'm doing, you know, pastor won't see it, brother won't see it, but God sees it, and that's what's important, and um, like uh, verse 10 says, correction is grievous. Unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. You know, like my dad talks about all the time, he tells us, you know, correction, correction, correction. That's, I hear that a lot at the house, and and it, uh, it's really coming into place, you know, and it, and it helps. Correction helps. And um, i just trying to hit on the youth, you know, because back in the revival, you know, we were... You know, everybody was stirred up. You know, they were on fire. And it seems like it's calmed down more now. And, you know, I'd like to get it back up to where it's, you know, it's going again. And um, sometimes, you know, people might not read the Bible much. They, they might not know that it's wrong what they're doing. So that's why you got to get in here and you got to read and you got to study and you got to, you know, you just got to read it and it'll help you. If I, you don't know that what you're doing is wrong. And um, you know, so back in uh, before, uh, before I got saved, I I had a bad problem with uh, chewing. You know, I was all the time going behind my mom and dad's back, and you know, just slip that chew in there, it'd be all right. Mom and dad won't know, and and uh, you know, mom and dad quit cigarettes back about 10 months ago and it's changed it I know it's changed their lives it helps their breathing and stuff and I know it helps me and it's, it's just a blessing to see what they're doing because I know how hard it was on them to quit I just thank the Lord for everything he's done for my family and I might not you know, be running and jumping like everybody else, but I have my own way of trying to get up to people. You know, I might not preach, you know, 45 minutes like JR does or an air or whatever, but <laughs> I'll, I'll just try to get, get out what I can. You know, sometimes we think, God doesn't hear me, you know, he, he's not going to listen to me, but, you know, I had trouble about, about two weeks after I got saved, you know, I was thinking God wasn't hearing me, but what was really going wrong is I wasn't praying, and, you know, I had to get on my knees and get down by the bed and pray and talk to him, and that was what my problem was, and I figured that out. And I was trying to put it off and put it off, you know, not to get up here and preach them, but if I don't, I don't want to run from what God has for me. And I just, I just thank him so much for what he's done for me and what he's brought me from. But, you know, you can't just, you can't always just go out there and do what you want because God's not approved of that. He's not going to approve of that. And, uh, I wrote down what the definition of reproof is. It's an expression of blame or disapproval. 
And I, I, don't, I don't think if you're going out there, you know, you're just getting doing what you want, you know, you're out there drinking or partying it up on the weekends, whatever, you know. I don't, God doesn't approve of that. And, you know, you can't go out there and be listening to country music and come to church and then act like you're a Christian. Because, you know, it just doesn't work that way. And God doesn't approve of that. And it says right there in 10, it says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. You know, I don't, I don't want to die and go to hell. I mean... You know, sometimes I know my dad gets on to me about some stuff, but I gotta, I gotta listen to what he says, cause he says obey your father and mother. You know, I'm, I want to make heaven my home just as much as anybody else. And you know, that's something you gotta do to get there. And I, I truly do. I just thank God for everything He's done for me, and I know this might not be like everybody else, but it's just what, I, what God's doing for me. I'm going to read five. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regardeth proof, reproof is prudent. You know, sometimes, you know, you get mad at your father or, or your mother, and, you, and I, I've been caught doing it before, you know, saying some stuff, you know, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here when I'm 18. I'm, I'm done with this, you know, because sometimes the correction is hard. And, you know, you just got to take it. You know, sometimes you don't want to, you don't want to listen to what they have to say, but nine times out of ten, they're probably right. Because, you know, they've been there, they've done that, and you haven't. And I, I just thank God for everything he's done for me. Yeah. I know it ain't, I know it ain't long, but... Praise the Lord.